guys, I'm back. Uh, this is 14 days post-op from my uh, biceps tenodesis and uh, labrum surgery. Um, I want to tell you guys what I've been doing over the past two weeks, how I was scared that I was doing too much or hurting myself, and then, you know, what the doctor said. Uh, but when you go in two weeks after, it's the first time you see the surgeon again. I didn't actually see my surgeon, I saw some other doctor who actually has a different opinion about a lot of things, which I'll get to later. But uh, they take all the stitches out. If you want to zoom in so you can see, uh, the, this one didn't hurt at all. I was like, cool, this isn't gonna hurt. And these two did. They, you know, it burned. You could feel them pulling it out. Whatever, it's not that bad. This one I found out, this is the gross looking one. There are stitches uh, down underneath and they will dissolve eventually. And there's a plastic glue over top that you don't want to really mess with this too much. But you can take a shower now. You can put soap on top of it. No more band-aids. Not really a risk of infection anymore. I pretty much stopped taking ibuprofen. It does like a low ache all the time, a dull ache. It's just enough to keep me up at night, which is the bummer. Uh, it's, very, it's still very hard to sleep. That's the only thing I really have to complain about. I got the recliner over there. You wanna check out the recliner? 200 bucks on Amazon. Got it in two days. Amazon Prime for the win. It's like three pieces just snaps together. Uh, so over the past two weeks, I can lift my arm. I can carry like really light stuff, you know? I'm still not like moving it away from my body. I'm still not carrying anything heavy, uh, but you know. Every day I feel more and more normal, which is a little dangerous because you naturally just start doing things the way you normally would with your body, and you have to think, you have to be conscious at all times. Like, hey, what am I doing with my arm? You know, so I don't do anything stupid. Uh, some stuff that I, that helped me during the first, especially the first week, you get really stiff, really sore. Uh, keep your grip strength up, which will actually keep down a lot of the pain around your elbow and stuff. Uh, throughout the day, I get a Thick band-aid, just open it up and slowly let it close. Just do that till exhaustion every time pretty much. And I alternate with you know either the ball that comes with a lot of the slings, or you can use like a tennis ball or something and just just squeeze it. You gotta keep it helps the blood flow through the whole arm, makes it feel a lot better. It'll keep you nice and strong. Also, you'll notice you get a lot of weird knots. Um, a lot of weird stuff is gripping, you know, your traps, all around your scapula, all those little muscles. And it's okay to release it. Uh, if you've never done releasing before, it's pretty much like rolling out the knots or the adhesions. So for my traps, this part right here, I usually take a yoga block. If you don't have a yoga block, it's fine. You can just use like the corner of the wall. But the main thing is you want to be able to place like a tennis ball here, bend over, and just relax that arm down. You want to find a corner so your head can go past the corner. If you have a block, you can do it anywhere. Just dig in there. Let that arm relax and hang down. It feels so good. It hurts so good. Also, uh, normally I would lay down, but if you don't want to lay down, you can do it on the wall too. You can use this to start at the top, right next to the spine on either side, and just lay down on it. Press, move it another inch, you know, go all around that shoulder blade. I would only, I would stay away from right back here. I got the uh, surgery where they drill a hole through and put the button in the back. So it's pretty tender and pretty sore back here. I would stay away from that spot. Um, but I even get in there, I'm self massaged, like my tricep was getting really tight, my forearm. Even I get a little, couple little knots in there. Be careful there too, because they go inside there, it's pretty swollen and uh, messed up. So I went in and I saw the other doctor. When I saw the surgeon, right after surgery, he said, it's very vague. I was like, what can I do? You know, I was worried about taking the sling off. He's like, you know, take the sling off. You know, I just don't want you to grab any big weights and lift them up or whatever. You'll be fine. Very vague, so I'm like, okay, I really don't know what I'm allowed to do. Uh, and he said, you have to sleep with the sling on for four weeks which sounded like a long time to me. This new doctor, I'm like, can I take this thing off? He's like, yeah, when you're at home, you know, feel free to take this thing off, just hold your arm by the side. I was like, 
really, I gotta hold it like this? I'm like, I feel fine just like standing. And he's like, okay. Like, really ambivalent if it's like good or bad. And then he says that I have to sleep with a sling on for six weeks. I, I freaked out. I was like, there's no way. He's like, yeah, he's like, you had two major surgeries, it makes it take even longer or whatever. And I don't see my surgeon again for four more weeks, so that'll be the six week mark. We'll see how I feel at four weeks. Um, there were two nights in the beginning where I freaked out in the middle of the night, I guess, while I was sleeping, and I woke up and my arm, my arm was out of the sling, like sitting on top of it. Um, I usually just lay on my side when I sleep, so that when I, I woke up on my bad side, you know, and it ached a bit the next day, so I was worried about it. He says, not a big deal, as long as you're not putting your arm over your head when you sleep, which I don't do anyway, that's not like a natural move for me. He's like, as long as you don't lift the, your arm up and stuff, that's what we're really worried about. Think of the sling as just like, it's keeping you from doing anything stupid, you know, it's, you gotta outsmart yourself because like I said, every day you're gonna feel more normal and you're just gonna naturally like go to pick that thing up like you normally would and you don't even think about it and then you're like, oh wow, I shouldn't have done that, you know? But it'll happen here or there. Don't stress out too much about it. You're not undoing everything that they did. You'll be fine. So now, next four weeks, sounds kind of boring. I'm just gonna go to physical therapy and do a lot of this kind of stuff. Just let my arm hang and swing around. Whatever. In the meantime, I'm going to keep working on my grip strength, try to keep the knots out. Um, I really want to stay in shape, and I couldn't do much the past two weeks. It got a little achy when I tried to do like sit-ups, um, even doing the bike with one arm, because you still have to kind of tense up over here to stable, stabilize yourself. And I asked him, it was pretty much, you know, try things out gently. If it hurts, then don't do it, you know? It's trial and error kind of thing. So I'm gonna do a lot of stationary bike. I'm gonna try and make some circuits up for myself, you know, mostly lower body. I'm allowed to lay on my shoulders. He says shoulder bridges are okay, so I can do like Pilates, you know. Basically try and concentrate on just core and like my lower body and somehow work some cardio into that, just doing everything in a sprint fashion. Um, so that's the next four weeks. Nothing exciting really, just try and maintain, try not to get too fat which is probably the second biggest problem. Not sleeping and getting fat. Those are the things I'm worried about right now. Pain is like nothing. It's, you know, just a little inconvenience. But uh, hope everyone's doing good. And uh, I'll make another video in a couple weeks. You know, if anything changes, uh, keep you posted. <laughs>